Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we came here to Active Investigations. So we're going to continue onwards through there. So, let's get into it. Alright, yes, so last time we uh, battled the Monster Doctor in here. And um, it was a battle royale, but we did it. So let's uh, let's go up the elevator and see what else lies ahead of us. What are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that, Winston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's okay. a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. What a butthole. Okay, so what's in here? So. Fra Mauro U <coughs> sorry, Fra Mauro AWE, Eagle Limited AWE, Bright Falls AWE, I guess that's where we're gonna be going. Is that it? And we need to find an in Oh hey. <coughs> oh, okay. Dodge efficiency, brilliant. Okay. So we press this button. All right. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. Oops, sorry. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Yep. Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. <clears throat> okay, listen. You need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? Yeah. He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right. Okay. Well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Okay. Thanks, this mate. This Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Find Hartman in the Frau Morale. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. Dude! People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to know brag. why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranormal oh materials God, dude. every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to oh, be on the I, same I, I'm team, just, I just, sometimes it feels I'm gonna like walk away. All right, so... Frau, Fra Mauro. I, don't, I assume that's how you say it. I don't know. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. Nothing else in here. Just checking. All right. Let's, let's, let's go. We don't have a light. The Christmas lights was a flashback, by the way, to Alan Wake. Because that's what Barry did. He wrapped himself in Christmas lights and made lots of Lord of the Rings references. How, how high are we going? Here? Oh, okay. Ooh, control point. Okay, let's let's claim this thing then. Okay. And it's ours. Okay, so can we just Well that did it. Whoa. Hello? Yeah. 
okay, dude. God, tripped him up and everything. Okay. Oh. Should we try this seize thing? What's that? Anyone else? Okay. What in the world? Oh my god, it's possessed. Jeez! What the hell? What's that noise? Oh, you. Uh, okay, so we need a light, don't we? Any torches in here? Oh. Must stop doing that. Can I pick up whatever this is? I don't know what it was, but... Oh, it's a box. It's a box. We need a light. We need a light, don't we? Uh, aha! That'll do it. There we are. Okay. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in any of these bathrooms. Files, folders, documents, anything. Okay, can we... Oh my god. Okay. We'll do that. Alright. Damn. Just destroying the whole bathroom. It's always a good idea. Ugh. Goop. Goopy. Everything's all floaty. Or is that because of us? God, it's dark in here. Wow. Wish we could just carry this instead of actually just using our power to hold it, because we could use our power for other things, but that's fine. Okay, oh! What in the name of God? Oh, it's somebody on stairs! Have a hold, have a hold. Yeah, make use of him. Why not? Why not? Eh? Stinky mess, but fine. Oh, that's a hurt, bro. I'm not this. Alright. Gather up this health. Okay. My god. Uh, we better get our light, haven't we? Wow, it's dark in here. Okay. Grab the light, Jesse. Hang on, we've been here before, have we not? Oh, God. Okay. I need to clean out my mobs again. Oh, goop. Stinky. Stinky goop. We obviously need a power cell, so I assume it's going to be around here somewhere. Okay, can we... Can we just set this down? Okay, maybe don't do that. Maybe just put it down, Jesse. God, there you go. Good grief. Honestly, what am I Cabin procedures. Ooh. Shoom? Is it shoom? We'll go with shoom. Arcade cabinets. A I 4 O P E. Containment procedure. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effects. Effect only triggers on physical contact. Description slash altered effect. Items are a pair of arcade game cabinets originally designed for the games Shoom. A I 4 O P E. A and Shoom 2, Kolga's Revenge, AI 40B. 
The games were manufactured by Bonco Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the, ni- the late 80s slash early 90s, no other shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching part of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state, as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. Huh, what's 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 this? Vending machine. Oh yeah, the vending machine that went a bit nuts. Vending machine AI eight one KE. Containment procedure non known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. Description slash altered effect. A vending machine. Its front covered in faux wood panel. Coin operated operations for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in close proximity and will produce whatever they sub- subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create a living redacted have consistently failed. Oh God, not a living being, surely. Background. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Redacted, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Redacted Call a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff were purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way of raising resident spirits. The Bureau's response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, there you go. All right. Um, Grab our torch, our light. So we need, we need a power cell, do we not? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, through here, maybe? Can we just put that down? Can we, can we do anything with this? No. All right, is there anything else here that we could, can we use this lift? Put this down. Okay. Can I have my light, please? Ah. Okay. Huh. Think we can use this one either. Hmm. Ah, maybe it's in one of these side rooms here. Oh. There you go. Okay. Put that down. Grab that. I wonder if this will put the power back on in here. Let's put all the lights on. Here we go! Yep. Just make sure there's nothing else in here that we can make use of. Doesn't look like it. Looks like a whole heap of nothing, maybe. Alright. Let's see what this does. Put the torch down. Do that. Ah, that calls the lift. Okay, let's grab our light and go. Oh, it calls the lift. Oh, okay. Are we able to do anything here? Do we just have to... Oh. Where did my light go? Maybe we have to get the lights on this way. Like that. Hmm. Sounds like something's powering up. Lower access. Huh. I can't believe I lost my light. God bless it. Very annoyed. Oh, well, never mind. We'll find another one. And then we can come back. We've not got any room for mods anyway. Alright. So, oh! Ask and you shall receive. There you have it. That's lucky. Hey, 
you go. Alright. Shaded facet and seized protection. Ooh. Okay. Did just uh, have a little play around then. Just to make sure we're getting the very best out of ourselves that we can. Okay. Look at that big massive health bar. I love it. Okay, so down here. It's very dark. Something sounds sticky. Oh no! The light's gone out! What? Escape the darkened corridor. Um, What is that? Is that him? Okay. Can we run over here? We're in the light. Okay. Yes, well, that's why we're running into the corridor, my dear. Okay, so we've got to leg it over here. Uh, maybe this way? Where does this need to go? Let's grab this. be a place for this somewhere in here oh god there we go Look at that. there we go what's this gonna do turn all the lights on We did it! Kind of. We freaking did it, baby. Screw you, Hartman. You wretch. You filthy owl. Alright, let's go. Okay, it's kind of dark up here, though. And our light got busted. But never mind. It's fine, it's fine. Let's clean this control point. Thank you! Okay, so, ah, I know where we are now. At the, what was it called again? I can't remember. Okay. Where the weird ball of death was going a bit wild. The bridge thing, yes, the bridge. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. Wow. Wow. Really messed us up. Ah! What the hell? Sound like it, but fine. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you. Understand? Jello, where are you from? Jumbo Brain. Up and loose and heavy treat sandwich. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, dirt arrange you. Why are you here? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. Wind and windy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Oh, God. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. Do you <laughs> hear that? They're going to cut you up, you pain in the ass. Spider time. Spider time. Okay. Should we have a little peek down here? 
I mean, maybe. Just have to be careful. Okay, so we need a light for over there. That's fine. Hmm. Is this a... Ah, no power. Hmm. And that's the door we want to get through, but it's full of black stuff. Okay. Let's get up there, Jesse. Okay, we'll we'll go and do this and see what happens. Uh, oh, not that. This. Bridge is on the move. Okay. Oh, joy. Oh god, now the snipers as well? Really? There's one of them thingies down here or something? One of those things, there you go. That's what we want to get rid of. definitely help, I think. Lovely. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, any more? We have to just, oops, destroy this thing, I think. There we go. Okay, it's got that moving again. Oh, kind of rough shape, but you know what? We'll be fine. Get rid of this bloody goop. Whatever the hell. Piss garbage. And get on with it. There we go. Any bits of health that we can find. Yep. Okay, shall we? do with a torch though because I want to know what's in that room there but we don't have a torch oh it was to align the light right Jesse let's go right. shifted offices Oh yeah! Ah, I see. I saw it. I saw it. Give me that power cell. There's got to be somewhere for it here. Surely to God. Hmm. All right. Maybe not up this way. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, ah, there you go. Stick it in. There. Oh, a nice bright light. Thank you. I will take it. Let's go and light up this bad boy. There you go. Have a bit of that. Okay. Good God, that's a gloomy portrait, isn't it? What the hell? Whoa, what? Is that 
That's hot, man. Oh my god, look at him! Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with his corruption. No, definitely Jake not. did call him the third thing. Okay, well, oh. What's this? Oh, let's see, put the whiteboard down. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to freestyle a bit. All right. <clears throat> My what? mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. Always. Never. Never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word stranger strange -er. strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your coffee Every time that it quacks because the noise scares you, then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack, 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 quack. Well, that's, um, Unique. I'll give them that. It's unique. Um, probably won't be listening to it again. Not gonna lie. Did that. Okay. Okay. Just, just, just. What's this? A chain letter. Oh. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better be what it says. You know. Just in case. All right. Must be a photocopier around here. Oh, oh, there it is. What's this? Then? Shaded Hartman. Ooh. Shaded Hartman. Examination of paranatural entities. Doctor Emil Hartman. Shaded. Summary. Dr. Hartman is the first Type 2 shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A-010, a.k.a. the Shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by, or produces, a redacted of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This redacted also protects the specimen from harm. During testing, non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains redacted to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the redacted AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behaviour. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. Refer to file 5-22-1019 for full report. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, so, yeah. So Hartman obviously has been changed, but... Definitely not for the better, I think we can all agree. Okay. Uh, can I have my light, please? Thank you. What's this? Ooh. Something else? Send a ranger out. Director's orders. Send a ranger out. Oh, this is this is great. I don't know why you're coming for me. Don't give it in. All right, what the hell? Oh, 
Oh god! Oh no, I think they killed my ranger. Well, never mind. Okay. Maybe not, maybe not. Okay. What is it? Oh! Oh god, don't go near him. Oh. Oh. You alright, dude? Oh my god, you're in a little bit of a bad way. Maybe you should just take a chill for a minute. Just... Alright. I thought it was raining, raining, I don't know, stuff. Alright. Do I just have to leave him here just now? Maybe. Yeah. I think, oh! Alright! I don't know how, and I don't know why. Is there anything to do that we can... Okay. Let's just get rid of this thing. Okay. Right. Just check around this corner. Make sure there's nothing else of any interest. I think that's where we would normally have to go through. Oh, I think our ranger friend has, has died. Oops! Well, alright, bro. What? How is it back? mean? Oh. Mold. We can't get rid of mold. Okay. Well. Ugh. This is a little stinky. Damn it. Oh. Light's gone again, for God's sake. All right. Oh. Oh. Are we... Oh. All right, well, um, folks, I think we are going to leave it there for today next time I think we're going to be going and talking to um, the very stooped over Dr Hartman over there who looks kind of messed up lovely so until next time be safe be good look after yourselves